Hello again. I just I just did a take on this and realized the the film wasn't rolling. So I wanted to give a little shout out to the Junto Group in Vancouver who invited me to speak last night. It was a group of of gentlemen who are very very intelligent people and had a lot of really good questions and they seemed to have a keen interest in what I was talking about. They particularly wanted to know about my bug out bag, my backpack, what's in it, and how I'm going to actually walk across this big attractive land. There it is, sitting right there, with my freedom flag on it. They were interested in that, so I did a teardown of the bag and showed them most of my stuff as I did on for you folks on the YouTube and and it's also on Facebook. A little video I did with the, with the with a poncho on. They wanted to know about freedom and why I was doing this for free. Why, what this freedom walk was all about. And the discussion went along the lines of internal freedom, external freedoms, politics, and so on, which is always very interesting. Some of the people there describe themselves as techno-anarchists, whatever that is, so they would seem to be interested in that. And they were also interested in my training regimen. And I told them about how, you know, I'd planned to do this for five years, but had a near-death near death experience of my son a few years ago, and that really motivated me to really live again and get involved with my uh, taking care of myself. So they were also interested in why. Why am I doing this? And there was one gentleman there who said that he would like to also do something like this someday and he would read something like 30 odd books on people who do outrageous adventures. And the biggest question they get is why are you doing it? And it's the hardest question to answer. Sure there's these externals. Oh yeah, I'm walking for freedom. I want to do Toastmaster speeches and so on. But a lot of it has to do with internal work, right? It's a, it's a life um, experiencing adventure. So I want to thank the Junto Group for inviting me out, my brother who was a member there, and for the keen interest they had. And one gentleman actually invited me to his place for lunch today, which I wasn't able to do because it was pissing rain in Vancouver in the morning. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get going in the pissing rain when I was in a comfortable house. And, and watching watching it through the window but now as you can see it's changed around and it's absolutely spectacular so once again Steve here sharing a few thoughts on my journey at Burnaby Lake one more view of it beautiful spectacular little lake here with a wonderful trail behind me to walk on talk again soon bye bye for now